What's up guys? Wanted to bring you an update here on the fish room. Uh, what's going on? Believe it or not, quite a bit has changed. Um, got the uh, Reef Octopus skimmer running. Um, to be honest with you, I don't think it's running worth a shit, but I'm going to give it a chance. It's been a while since you guys have seen me on my platinum game. <laughs> um, this is what I have come up with for the Aquascape so far. I think this is where I'm going to leave it. I really didn't feel like chopping up the, uh, the rock because I have future plans for this rock um, with a new tank when we get into our new house. So I didn't really want to chop it up, but a lot of surface area. I put lights over the tank to see uh, how the shadowing was going. And uh, really, there's not going to be a whole lot of shadowing except for the very bottom rock there, but I can't put coral on there anyways because I use that rock as a base rock. Other than that, everything else is lit up fully. Um, the problem I'm running into is the corals in the other tank are a lot bigger than I had originally thought. Um, if I were to put both my hands together, that's how big a lot of them are. So my plan is I'm going to probably only do three to four corals per rock. So we'll see what I can fit in here. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much that. Uh, so this is the aquascape I came up with right now. Um, it's, it's hard to aquascape with this Pucani rock without chopping it up. Other news, look how much this Catamorpha has grown. It's unbelievable how much that has grown. Um, so let's move on to the fun stuff here. So I put lights, as you can see here, over the frag tank, the flood table, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm using the two Reef Breeder LEDs. I took the third one off. This is what used to be over the big tank inside. I took the third one off. That's actually going to go over this part of the refugium for the euphelia and the anemone. So here's what I did. I took the corals, the akins and the zoanthids that were in the refugia, or I'm sorry, in the sump, dipped them again. Uh, just to make sure any of those string of starfish or whatever. Nothing was on these ones. I have one Aiken left in the sump that still has an Aptasia on it. So I'm not going to put it into the frag tank. But these guys were looking pretty good. I dipped them. Uh, a couple of little parasites came off. Like, well not even parasites, but amphipods and copepods. Didn't have any string of starfish on them. So I put them in here. Um, there are whatever those zoanthids are, there's some rastas, some blue hornets, blue tubs, or tubs blues, and a big old thing of sunny d's, and then just a whole bunch of akins. I don't know what any of them are, but they look nice when I bought them, so that's why I have them. <clears throat> so here's what I'm doing. I put two SPS corals in here. I cut these corals off of the main colonies on the big tank over there. I cut them off when I very first started this entire fish room project. That way they had a, a chance to encrust, heal, and do the best they can be doing by the time I put them in here. So these are test pieces. Wow, my hands look really dirty under these blue lights. <laughs> Anyways, so this is a green slimer. And this one here is a Aura Joe. So basically I'm using, oh, and there is a, you can't see that. There's a rainbow proselopora at the very end of that frag plug there. Um, I don't know how that happened. I think the proselopora just like spread some seeds one night. Cause I have proselopora all over the tank. But anyway, so there is a green slimer, a proselopora and the Aura Joe Coral. Aura Joe, yeah. So those are the, I guess, three SPS that are in the tank right now, or in the fish system. Fish system, the coral system, I should say. Um, so these are my test SPS. There's an Acro, um, a Postulopora, and a Green Slimer Acro. So we'll see how these do over the next couple of weeks. Um, they look like they're 
doing nice right now, but we'll see how they fare in the next couple of weeks. The next thing I'm going to do, um, I'm not going to add coral right away like my colonies, but I'm going to add um, fish very slowly. Um, so it's probably going to be some clownfish first, and then um, you know maybe a handful of corals, and then I'll add the blue or my blue tang, please, the powder blue tang into the system. Let the system kind of recuperate from putting the tang and the clownfish in, and then I'll add some more coral, and uh, we'll just kind of go from there. But that's what's going on with the fish room right now. Trip it over the dog, move out of the way. Uh, fish room is a little bit of a mess again because I pulled out plumbing shit. But uh, yeah, there's the, uh, the reef octopus. What is it? 2,000 or 200 EXT? I can't. I can't really say that I'm happy with it right now. Something just just something just doesn't seem right about it. It's really you know this this fancy pump that it comes with this this fancy DC pump. It really isn't producing bubbles that much. I actually had this hose right here hooked up into the waveline pump which is the feed pump that I'm using I, uh, I shoved this into the intake of the waveline pump and that seemed to work much much better but this just doesn't seem to really be producing the foam head that I would expect out of this, out of this skimmer I don't know anyways uh, that's all I really got going on right now guys um, the light system that's going to be going over the display tank is going to be the 8 bulb T5 fixture, the ATI fixture that I have currently over that tank. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, I'm just going to leave the reef breeders. I'm not going to sell these with the tank at this time uh, because I just don't really feel the need to have to buy more lights when I have some already. So, two. Let's take a look at the big tank real quick. Why not? Don't know how well it's going to show up, but this thing is uh, getting a little overgrown. The glass is dirty right now. That's why it looks hazy. But everything is growing like wickedly fast, so I need to start moving here on uh, this transfer. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Later on.